Great. Um, good afternoon, comrades. Uh, with our many differences, I'm sure we still should call each other comrades. My name is Larry Holmes. Uh, I'm the first secretary of Workers' World Party, uh, an FBI document on Reds in the U.S. in the 1970s during the whole COINTELPRO thing. Uh, described Workers' World as a quote unquote hardline communist organization, quote unquote dedicated to world revolution. We have no quarrel with that description. <laughs> <laughs> we are stubbornly anti imperialist, milit militantly anti racist. Uh, we are oriented toward the workers and the oppressed. We think that they uh, change history. Uh, we are fiercely internationalists, uh, and uh, all of these things uh, pose no problem to our uh, tremendous uh, work in coalitions and mass work. As a matter of fact, we consider our politics an asset. Uh, a few hours ago, I was uh, participating in and speaking at a, uh, a fairly sizable, a decent sized rally of postal workers and supporters uh, demanding uh, no uh, post office closings and no layoffs of the postal workers. Uh, I think our party, among other things, is known for its mass work, known for its ability to uh, build coalitions. Uh, I think beside that, I'd like to draw your attention to a new book we've put out, Capitalism at a Dead End. The reason why we feel this is important is because the entire movement has to reorient itself in the wake of this new phase of capitalist development, the phase that could be described as a permanent crisis that the capitalists can't get out. The only certain thing is that the capitalists are going to relentlessly and brutally try to get out of their crisis by beating back the working class on a global scale. And yes, we must uh, fight the defensive fight. We must protect everything that's being attacked, uh, unions, wages, uh, cutbacks, austerity. Uh, we must fight for jobs. We must fight the day in, day out battle. But that's not enough. We can no longer harbor any illusions about capitalism being able to reform itself as far as the interests of the workers of the world are concerned. I think that illusion has been burst violently. And so along with the mass work that we do around the bread and butter issues, we must also begin strengthening socialist and revolutionary consciousness because at some point, whatever it takes, whenever it comes, we've got to abolish capitalism. And we've got to be about that revolutionary transformation that brings about socialism. Thank you.